We're uh, doing the first annual Bomb the Lot Show 2021. In collaboration with a bunch of graffiti writers. You know, first time in Aurora over 30 years. We got a nice, nice crew of artists to come through to write their name on the wall, basically. How long you been doing graffiti art? Um, I actually really haven't been doing graffiti art that long at all, man. I like to draw and stuff, but I never actually get down with spray cans or anything. Like that. My thing's more like a hand style, you know, lettering style. That's what I do, more like a calligraphy. You know, so more like an abstract type of art. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Eric Garcia, Fist Creations. I'm here with all these amazing artists. I just want to know, I want, I want to let you guys know this. It's an honor to be in here. And just keep it checking it out because it's going to be an amazing day. Olé, 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 olé. Hello, Sims321 representing Chirac here in Aurora. Ole. Peace team, my name is Raven and it's just amazingly awesome to be out here in Aurora learning with my brother Rogue who has been working for 30 plus years, uh, illustrating and illuminating this community and bringing writers over here to add our light and magic and we appreciate the township for having us over. And uh, a hot day, but a great day. It's just like, you know, painting in a sweat lodge. It's perfect. And um, I said, just having a great time. I'm doing a Maggie piece for my wife and I'm doing a Micronaut style, which I'm known for, which is a very thin style that's based on uh, Celtic lettering and the knotting of, uh, of Celtic lettering. Um, originate, originally created this style in 1989 and it's still burned to this day. Oh, hey, um, I write decades I'm from uh, Chicago. Uh, I belong to Air Crew. Saw Crew, SB, I Am, EDSK, um, UBC. What's up guys? It's uh, AV1. Happy to be out here at Bomb the Lot today. It's a great day. Come on out and check everything out. You've been doing graffiti art, man. Um, first got introduced to it in '96, and then kind of consistently from about 2000 on. So a little bit. <laughs> Is there any uh, graffiti artists that uh, that influence you? Ah, uh, yeah, a lot of them. Um, probably the biggest one goes back to uh, Dondi. I was always a big fan of his style and his his uh, whole cars that he was kind of famous for, and his colorful stuff so yeah Dondi was probably one of the biggest ones for sure hi my name is Jose R I'm here uh, with uh, a lot of artists today painting a, a mural of graffiti uh, it's nice to be here with all the artists from all around Aurora and Chicago um, I've been painting for Airbrush, with Airbrush Art for about 20 years and I'm, I've been uh, living here in Aurora for 10 years, so I'm a local artist and I'm happy to be here. Hi, 
my name is Aldo. I'm from East Aurora. I'm out here painting. I represent TVA crew, uh, my brand Eastland, and we're out here having a good time. ourselves writers. The world called us graffiti and then the, main graffiti, the word graffiti artist came into being in popular culture but we call ourselves writers and we write, we write, we write, and um, but essentially I was motivated by a, a lot of the old school uh, kind of abstract letterist. Futura was definitely a major motivator, A1, you know, uh, study mode too, but you know, style very different. And so I always love concrete letters, but with beautiful color abstract, uh, watercolor fades and fills. And that's how I came up, you know, in the 80s. And then I became, you know, more, uh, when I joined SB, Zor Zoro's uh, dojo basically, you know, helped to add a different ge ge geometry. And we studied the world's languages and, you know, and we believed in like uh, illuminated scripts. And so around like, you know, 88 to 89, 91 was when I was like studying the Celtic script. You know, I, I paint, or I can paint any language that's put in front of me because we work on the soulful line. I may not know what the hell it says, but I can paint any language that's put in front of me. And, and then basically, you know, our goal is to be original, to have a style that's like no other style that you've seen before, uh, and then also wild style. What I do is not, uh, it is completely readable when I explain it to you, but it is to be deciphered. It's for you to explore and take the journey into the style. So I consider myself a wild style specialist, and I appreciate the wild style specialist from LA who really showed the value of 40 to 60 foot pieces. That's what I prefer, 40 to 60 foot piece where you can really go off and really get layered. That's pretty much it in terms of influence, Raven. Uh, ultra skinnies, mm, super clean lines, I like them. Graffiti writing, what does it mean to bomb something? Bombing is a code term that that was created by graffiti artists when they go painting, basically. Go bombing, we're gonna go bomb some trains. So they mean we're gonna go paint some trains, basically. So uh, yeah, that's, that's an old subway art term from the old New York graffiti days. What is tagging? Tagging is, that's the base, you know what I mean? You wanna get a good tag. That's basically your signature, you know what I mean? And then you get your fame, the more you write it, you, the more you get seen, you know? And that's the ultimate goal for a graffiti writer is to get your name up. So tagging plays a big important role. That's how it all started, you know? Like in New York, you used to just sh sh write your name. You know, the most famous one, Taki 183, I believe, Taki 183. And uh, yeah, you're just writing his name all over ice cream trucks and you know, driving all over New York, you know, and it just translated over to the subway trains. And uh, it started with a tag, and then as space started getting limited and limited, they started getting, experimenting with fatter letters. You know, they, they found out that you could take caps off the oven cleaners, put them on a spray paint can to paint fatter and faster. So, you know, it just started evolving and it turned into a whole, whole culture of art, you know? like. The graffiti writing. What got you interested in graffiti writing? Well, I mean, ever since I was little, I was always talented with art. I always liked to draw ever since, as far back as I can remember. I've always been drawing. 
and the graffiti always it always intrigued me because you know obviously the aspect that it was you had to be crazy enough to do it you know what i mean first off and and you know we i had you know dabbled a little bit here and there but i had never seen nothing like that when i saw that book subway art i was like damn and so I started copying that and started getting into, you know, the hip hop music was coming around and it kind of all enveloped together with the graffiti writing and, and uh, you know, rap music and break dancing. It was all part of the culture. You know, if you if you ever go, if you ever go to Wynwood, Florida, where they do the art basil, that used to be a slum out there. And ever since they started graffitiing it out there and doing artwork, it's like a it's like a destination point now in Miami. You know what I mean? So, you know you know this type of art it does bring communities together and does uplift the community and and in some cases is even even bring up property value. I've noticed that. You know what I mean? And are you hoping to do this annually, every year? That's the plan. We're going to try to do this every year and hopefully get bigger and better from here. You know what I mean? And what does it mean for Aurora to have an opportunity for the graffiti artists to have this opportunity? Well, it's huge. It's huge because, like I said, for years and years, it's been kind of like suppressed, the graffiti art community here in Aurora. But it finally feels great to see it open up. And this is a good start. Um, you know, it's only going to get better, you know, it's only going to get more beautiful, the city, the community is going gonna, gonna to vibe off of it, you know, we've been needing it for a long time and finally it's happening, so hopefully, hopefully this can continue and, you know, and continue to thrive and continue to beautify not just downtown Aurora, but hopefully in the communities where it's most needed, a nice positive message to the, to the residents of the Aurora city, you know. No, go ahead right now. Okay. <laughs> cool. Hey, how you doing? My name's Josh, uh, aka Snag. Um, here in Aurora, cleaning up this uh, bomb the lot. I want you to stay true. 